Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. It's time to start my uh, stash videos for the year. I used to call them my collection videos, but and maybe I still will, but I try not to look at these sorts of products as a collection because I don't want to collect it. I just want to buy the things that I like and use it. Now I'm kicking off with um, like body care, skin care, hair care, because I don't like the way this is set up. So I do have another shelf down here, which you'll see soon. It's fine, everything fits, but you can see there's a lot of wasted space. And I would kind of like to get some clear drawers to fit in here. So I wanna start with this. I wanna take everything out, show you what I got, wipe it out, measure it up, and then do some research and see if I can find some drawers to fit. I am a bit worried because these cupboards are actually quite shallow. So I might, I might be out of luck. Starting with cleansing pro products, I have the Sue Hair and Body Wash here. That one came from Madeline. I've yet to crack into it. I do still have the Sephora Rolling in the Grass body wash. There is the smallest amount in here and I am hanging on to it for dear life. Um, it's discontinued and yeah, I love that scent. I have the Institute Gentle Cleanser here. So I had this from when I used to get uh, laser hair removal. I no longer get it. I might in the future, I don't know, but that's probably one that I want to finish up next year. I have the Oi body wash, which, what is leaking? It's definitely, can, oh, um, Oi body wash, one of my favorite scents ever, delicious. I have quite a few of the shower jellies from Bath and Body Works. I really like shower jellies. You're gonna, you're gonna see that in a minute. Um, I've got Cabana Breeze and I have uh, Waikiki, Waikiki Beach Coconut and I have Liquid Sunshine. So none of those have been opened yet. Here I have, shit, this create, it's that red one. So from Lush, I have the Whoosh Shower Jelly. I also have the Sweetie Pie Shower Jelly, the Snowman Shower Jelly, which was this the original one? I think it was. I think this was the first one they bought out. And then I have Santa's Belly, which is leaking and messy. I'm gonna put it in my sink. Back here, I have a giant Yognog shower gel from Lush, love that. And this one is an old favorite. It's a milk and honey uh, body wash from David Jones. I'm not sure if they still make this, but oh my God, the smell. It reminds me of something. Oh, this is one of those scents that triggers a memory for me that I think I was too young to actually remember and I associate it with um, a female in my life. I think there's a possibility that like my grandmother had something that smelt like this and I'm like just remembering that smell. I know that this was a seasonal item for David Jones for a while and I think they would bring it out, was it autumn maybe? Um, I don't know if they still make it, but I absolutely love it. It's delicious and I kind of cherish that product. Moving on to body scrubs. I have the Oi body scrub from Devoness here and I have the Ofra body derm coffee body scrub. I should probably use that one up. I've had it for ages and back here I have two pouches. I've got the Bondi Sands coconut and sea salt body scrub. This is lovely and I have the Frank body original coffee scrub. Not a whole lot of body scrubs. Um, what's that, four? It's not too bad. I do have one in my shower as well. Obviously, I'm not pulling out the things that are in my shower to show you. Body moisturizers. I have one here from Holica Holica. This is a 99% aloe gel. I have the Laura Mercier Amber Vanilla Body Butter. This is so good. It's really, the formula is 
so luxurious and it smells amazing. I love it. Laser Aid from Skin Institute. Again, another one for when I had laser hair removal. Um, it's not really something that I would use outside of having laser done. So I'm not sure if I'll actually get to using this at any stage, but we'll see how we go. Um, here I have the Tan Maximizer from uh, Davines. This is in the Sue range. And then I have the After Sun, which is a replenishing cream for the face and body. Jumping in here, I have a shimmering dry oil from Sol. Um, I had a few of these in the mini form as well. What I've done is I've emptied out the oil because I love the oil and um, disposed of the shimmer. So I'm going to use those up eventually. They're kind of waiting in the wings to be used up and eventually I'll do that with this one as well because uh, I like the oil. I don't want to waste it. I want to use it, but I don't like the shimmer. This one is the hair and body oil, which is just the oil. There's no shimmer in there. So I've got one of those. I have the Bio Oil Dry Skin Gel here. And I have the Bombdia Bright Moisturizer from Sol de Janeiro. I've got two of them just in like the deluxe, I guess, travel size. Um, I haven't actually tried this yet. They've both come, oh, I think both of them in advent calendars maybe over the years and I just haven't cracked into them. These are a couple of uh, like bath and shower items. I have a bath bomb from Annie Hana. It's raspberry marshmallow and I have the shower steamer in lemongrass. I should really use them. And here I have a tub of like hand and feet stuff. So I've got some of the Shoal uh, Velvet Smooth Wet and Dry uh, regular course Mm, foot scrubby things. I don't know if they still make these. Did they discontinue it? I don't know, but I love them. They're fantastic, especially in summer. Like I walk around in bare feet a lot and um, I find that that's not really that great for my feet. They tend to get a bit dry and calloused. So I love these. I use them in the shower. Fantastic. Um, what do we got? This is going to be... Ugh. This is hand cream from Mecca. I am currently panning one of these, so there's another one. I also have a hand balm from Davines. This is the Oi hand balm. That will be amazing. I just know it. I have the Tony Moly Magic Food Banana hand cream. Oh, uh, what else? This is one I should pan next year. It's the Paul and Joe Moisturizing Hand Cream. It's in a tin, um, which for me just makes it like crazy to use. So, uh, I mean, I love it. Like it's cute as a button. Look, there's little little dogs on there. That's, that's cute. Um, is that a swan? It is, and a horse and a cat. Okay, there you go. Um, but the tin, the tin is odd. This one is also adorable. It's from a chewed house. Oh, this is why I miss my drawers, guys, because trying to hold this all up in front of the camera, it's really hard. Um, look at that. Stop it. It's so cute. I, I love it. This is from Laura Mercier. This is a party of three hand cream set. I believe this was from Holiday last year. And last but certainly not least in that tub, I have two foot peeling masks. I've got one from Double and Zero and I have one from Village 11 Factory. I found another one hiding in the tub. This is the Crabtree and Evelyn um, Ultra Moisturizing Hand Therapy Cream. There we go. Moving down to the bottom shelf, this is, uh, there is a little bit of SPF stuff back here, but I've mostly got hair stuff. Uh, so, and again, like it's just a little, I just feel like things would be better in drawers. I just hope I can find some that fit the cupboards. 
So I have a whole bunch of these. They are from Devoness. I've got the purifying shampoo sachets. There's a bunch of them. I have the Love Curl Cleansing Cream and the DD Conditioner. These could realistically go in my sample boxes, which I might, I might put them in there. Uh, here I have the purifying gel um, from Devoness. So that's really good if you've got uh, dandruff. And I have some toners here. So I've got the Devoness Finest Pigments. This is in pearl. I also have the Maria Nilla Pearl Silver Toner. I love these. Um, this is a 10 volt activator from Davines, which Madeline gave me for the, uh, finest pigments, I believe. Uh, what else? I have a quick dry heat spray from Maria Nella. I have a dry shampoo. Oh, I actually have some more stuff up here as well. Oh no. I don't want to forget about what's in this bag because I kept it all in here because I need to like do my inventory and uh, write it all on my spreadsheet and oh, I feel like I'm going to forget. Um, I feel like I'm going to forget that whole top shelf to be honest. So I've got a couple of items here from Davines. I've got a mini of the Oi All-in-One Milk and a mini of the Oi Oil. Then I have a Batiste dry shampoo. Everything else in that bag is like minis and samples so I will deal with that at a later time. Uh, let's pull out my SPFs. Oh, I have uh, the Reef 15 plus and the Barley Body SPF 6. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to use these here because it's too damn hot uh, and probably very very dangerous. <laughs> Ultraviolet uh, Extreme Screen SPF 50 Plus. This is the hand and body skin screen from Davines. I've got a lot of Davines. Uh, this is a natural tech energizing superactive serum. This is really good for um, hair retention. Love that stuff. I have the Oi Silkening Hair Scent from Davines. This is amazing as well. I've got an Oribe dry shampoo mini. I have a Bumble and Bumble dry shampoo mini uh, in here. See, all of this stuff would be so much better in little like clear drawers that I could just pull out. Verb Ghost Oil, that's uh, hair oil. I have the Love Curl Revitalizer from Davines. I have the Bumble and Bumble Shine On and On Spray. I have the Color Wow Dream Coat. This is uh, pretty interesting, actually. I've only tried it once, but it helps to like smooth your hair. And I mean, it says it's it humidif oh, humidity proofs your hair. It's not humid here, so it's useless for me, but it certainly makes it uh, silky and shiny. This is a blow dry primer from Davines and here from Drunk Elephant. This is a Wild Marula Tangle Spray. This is the only hair product that I liked from the Davines hair range. And the thing that I actually like about it the most is the mister on the bottle. The formula is okay, but it's not something that's so good that I would like buy it again essentially but the mist is fantastic i have some rosemary oil here which i occasionally like to put in my hair there's like not even one more application in there but i will just use it to the very last drop this is a hair gain nourishing miracle treatment hair mask Davines detoxifying scr uh, scrub shampoo i have the briogeo superfood avocado and kiwi mega moisture hair mask uh, I've got a couple of bottles of Olaplex here. I have Deeper Love uh, by Sam McKnight. I have some Milk Bombs and Mint Bombs from, oh, what was this brand? That's it, Flabois. These are really, really lovely. And the Milk Bombs um, remind me a little bit of the Milk and Honey scent, which I really like. Uh, here I have the 
Renewing Pro Boost Super Active. It's a treatment enhancer. That one is, again, from Davines. I have the Liquid Luster. Oil Liquid Luster. I, guys, I'm filming this on my phone because I'm in low light settings and the phone's usually not too bad for low light settings. But I swear, ever since I've done the new update, this, it just, it doesn't auto um, focus. I'm losing my mind. Oi Liquid Luster from Davines. This is like a shine enhancer that you do in the shower. It's quite nice. Two more Davines products. I've got the Elevating Massage Oil and the Scalp Recovery Treatment there. Oh, I'm running out of room. Uh, back here, I have the Solu Sea Salt Scrub Cleanser from Davines. And I have a bunch of the Oi Absolute Color Gloss uh, serum vials in it. I have the Sue hair mask here. Um, it's for like sun exposed hair. Down here I've got a couple of um, like mini shampoos. I have Nunu and the Love Shampoo, both from Davines. I have one of the, uh, that's the Minu hair mask. And back here I have the Love Curl hair mask. The love conditioner, there's two types of love conditioner actually. So I have both of them, both in minis. From Sasha, Sa I can never say this. In my head, I can say it, but when I'm trying to say it out of my mouth hole, I can't say it. Um, Sasha Juan, the scalp conditioner and scalp shampoo, just in the little mini sizes. And back here, I have the Minu shampoo and the Minu hair mask in the maxi like one liter bottles. So here is under my sink where I store my skincare. There's two levels. There's this level here. There's one just down here. So usually on this level, I have stuff that I'm like currently using. I store like deodorants and like my favorite perfumes, stuff like that. Uh, but this is mostly things that I'm like currently working on that I don't want up on my bench. Down the bottom is where I have storage for like face cleansers, serums, moisturizers, stuff like that. I have so few. The only thing that I have an excess of is uh, balm cleansers or oil cleansers. So I have very, very little, which was ultimately what I was going for. And I got to, you know, shop the Black Friday sales and I had a good time. Uh, but I don't actually like this storage. Coming from my previous storage where I had drawers to store everything and going to a cupboard system it's made me realize exactly what my preference is for storage and it's certainly not cupboards i just find that because everything is like stacked in front of everything else it's it can be really hard to find stuff it's easier to open a drawer that you know contains like face cleansers and have a dig through and pull something out rather than trying to get down on your hands and knees down here and then rifle through the back of a dark cupboard. So I also don't like this and I would like to get some drawers to put in here as well. These ones I'm pretty sure are deeper than the ones that we were just looking at. I have the BioEffect uh, EGF to a daily treatment here. So it's two-step treatment. This is just a a little bottle of uh, serum that I put in an old uh, Josie Marin, what was it? Argan in, it was a highlighter, little mini liquid highlighter. This is the Davines Oi Oil, another one of those minis. It's just in this cupboard because I use it every day. There is the Soul Glow Oil that I got the shimmer out of and decanted into another bottle. So I'll use that eventually. I have Daiso Puff and Sponge. I've got more. I think they're like back behind there. We'll find them. 
K18, this is the leave-in uh, hair mask. I might actually put that in my hair cupboard. This is the Sue hair milk. Uh, so it's like a sun protective, uh, heat protecting spray. I really love this. It's very similar to the Devoness Oil in, uh, sorry, Devoness Oil All in One milk, but I actually prefer this. I have the Sinker Perfect Watery Oil. I use this mostly for cleaning brushes and sponges. So, you know, it gets very little use, but it will be used over time. When I need it, I need it, and I don't want to use my like expensive Shuamora cleansing oils or my pharmacy cleansing balms. Rexona deodorant, love this stuff. I've got some backups over there. Uh, this is delicious. Bath and Body Works Strawberry Pound Cake body cream. I love this. I love the scent. I love the formula. This is so, so lovely. I don't have too much left. She's almost done. I will use it up and once I've gone through some more of my body moisturizers, I will certainly buy more of those, probably in that scent and others. I have the Saint-Tropez Gradual Tan Watermelon Infusion Body Lotion here. I actually haven't tried this. I put it in this cupboard to sort of encourage myself to use it over summer and see if I like it. Kerastase Nectar Thermique. I love this stuff. It's been a, a favorite for many, many years and I use that fairly regularly. I have the Your Hair Assistant Silkening Oil Mist from Davines. This is, um, it's a like dry oil shine treatment for the hair and here i have the bedhead after party smoothing cream from tiggy um i don't use this very often mostly when i have like frizzy flyaways like if i've blow dried my hair in a rush and i've done a bit of a crappy job then i'll whip that out oh i need to put this in my shower this is the davines renaissance circle uh, repair mask. This is in my project pan as well. I'm going to put it in my shower to remind myself to use it. From Shantakai, I have the Bio Lifting Mask. This is a fantastic spot treatment mask. So I like to put a generous amount on like my smile lines or any lines that are just not looking great and it helps to like plump them up temporarily which is really nice it's very expensive but it works uh this is a herbivore pink cloud soft moisturizing cream i don't really know how i feel about this i don't i don't think it's enough moisture for me but it also doesn't generally offend me i just don't think it's moisturizing enough so there's that um, here I have the Cinch Pump and Glow 5-in-1 Daily Moisturizer. If I wasn't low on body moisturizers, I'd probably get rid of this. It is a moisturizer for the face that has uh, shimmer in it, which I don't really like. That's not what a glowy moisturizer, like someone missed a memo. Someone's got confused here. It So it leaves like a shimmery effect on your skin. Um, I thought that, you know, it would be okay. It's fairly moisturizing, which is nice, but the Kakadu Plum Super, Super Tox, no, sorry, Super Ox C, uh, it irritates the crap out of my skin so vitamin c products i don't know why topical vitamin c just irritates my skin like almost always and i thought this one wouldn't i was like oh surely not i mean they've put actual shimmer in it so uh the vitamin c can't be that potent but i mean maybe it's I don't know, whatever. I'm thinking I might actually try and use it up on my body and see how that goes because it's got that like really fine um, light reflective shimmer in it. It would look nice on the body, but I won't use it on my face. I haven't gotten around to trying it on my body yet. That's, that's the only issue. Perfume sample stick. I'm getting rid of them. I don't need them in here. Uh, Good Molecules Ultra Hydrating Facial Oil. I don't really love this. I've had one before and I just wasn't really in love with it. It's okay, but it's not like I wouldn't buy it. I'm pretty sure I got this one 
Oh, it might have been the Beautylish Lucky Bag this year. Or maybe it was last year. I don't know. I don't think I have a whole lot of facial oils, so I think I will hold on to it. But yeah, I like I wouldn't buy it, basically. Listerine. I like the purple one. Um, this is from Drunk Elephant. It's the TLC uh, Glycolic Night Serum. I don't mind this. Um, I'm not really a fan of drunk elephant skincare there's not been a whole lot that i've well there's i don't think there's been anything that i've loved uh there's been a lot of things that i don't like and that have irritated my skin and then there's been things like this where i'm like i can use it but it's not absolutely amazing um i would finish it up but i wouldn't buy it again um and I just use it as I feel like I need it. I'm gonna move that out of the way. Uh, Augustinus Beta, the Rich Cream. This is pretty nice, it's super expensive. I'm pretty sure I have two bottles of this. I think there's one on the shelf down here. Uh, and they've both come from Advent Calendars. It's quite luxurious and it's definitely like quite rich. I like it. I wouldn't buy it though. Eventually I'll get around to using it up. This is the Bioma Moisturizing Gel Cream with Triceramide Complex, Niacinamide and Green Tea. I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. If it was like two years ago and I was filming this video, I would get rid of this and a bunch of other moisturizers that I've said that I'm not like a huge fan of. But because I really don't have a lot of moisturizer, like I'm pretty sure what you're seeing now is pretty much the extent of it. I don't, I, apart from the, another one of these, I don't think, like I don't have much. Um, I did buy some in the Black Friday sale, but for now I think I'm just going to hold on to it because in case of emergency, I need a moisturizer. This one doesn't irritate my skin as far as I can tell, but it's just not really moisturizing enough for me. In here I have a bunch of bits. There's a hair clip. Um, I have the Paula's Choice Resist 9% uh, BHA. Really good if you have a serious, serious breakout. Um, that is jojoba oil in a little nail pen. This is the Sampa So Much To Do Midnight Mask. I've got a Kate Somerville Exfolicate Cleanser. I really need to finish some of these up. I know that they have, like these guys here, have pretty significant use. Um, this, the Niod Copper Amino Isolate Lipid. This is in my project pan. I need to finish that too. I have different gel here. I'm actually going to get rid of this. It's just too harsh for me. Um, I went and got Retrieve Cream. I went to my doctor and I got a prescription for Retrieve. I'm going to give that a go. Retrieve was always my favorite and this one I bought it off iHerb and I thought I'd give it a go because I know a lot of people uh, in the states rave about this one but i i've not gotten along well with it you can see i've used a lot too i like i tried with this but the irritation like the retinol uglies and the irritation just continued with this oh i have a tube of numb it <laughs> i bought that um when i had my pdo threads done and i've still got it so i just hold on to that for now um, I've got two of the Clarins Instant Light Lip Perfectors in there. I have a Sharpie for some reason. And I also have the Lena Lips 101 Lip Ointment. This, I quite like this. Um, this is grubby, so I'm going to set all of these aside. I'm going to go and wash this in the sink uh, before I put it back in in this cupboard. Back here I have sheet masks. Um, I don't really want to pull them all out because they're neat. <laughs> um, but I have like, that's all of them. That's all of my sheet masks that fit really nicely into this organizer. This is one of the um, organizers from Refa. I love it. It works really well for my purpose, what I need it for, and I'm just going to keep them all in there. These are heated eye masks. I bought these in Japan. I've had them for ages. I really should use them. Um, last year, 
before like when I was packing to move I actually pulled one of these out and tried it to make sure that like they still work they do so I bought them with me um I have a bottle of the Dr Bronner's Pure Castile soap here in peppermint this is pretty good for washing brushes um it's not my favorite but it works so once i finished up all of my daiso puff and sponge i will go on to this and then i will just be going back to daiso i have some hydrogel bouncy eye patches here from eliza becker they're quite nice uh here i have the sk2 facial treatment essence i really should finish that up i have the quick screen SPF 50, this is a spray on SPF, like touch up SPF from Quick Flick. Back here I have more brush soaps. So I have a solid brush soap from Hakuhodu. I have two from Clean Apothecary. Um, I've got the like orange and the rose, the orange one's almost done. And I have the brush cleaner from Ella Cosmetics. Moving over to the other side, this guy's empty, I've got to top it up. Um, this, Biosance Squalane and Copper Peptide Rapid Plumping Serum. I use this for months and months and months and I swear to God, I saw nothing, nothing happen with this product. It doesn't help to hydrate. The copper peptides did not seem to be doing anything. I've used copper peptides a lot in the past. I really love them for anti-aging, but this just, no. I'm going to use it up on my body um, because I can, and there can't possibly be much in there because I used it for so long. La Roche-Posay Cicplas Balm. This is fantastic, and it got my skin out of a couple of difficult uh, situations, especially after using um, a product that had vitamin C in it that I just didn't really realize. Anyway, I love this stuff. It's fantastic. I have two moisturizers here from Toucha. This one is the Luminous Dewy Night Concentrate. I love this product. They discontinued it. I don't know why. When it's used correctly, it's amazing. And this one is the Dewy Skin Cream. I like this as well. Got me through quite a few months of uh, drama with my skin and it didn't irritate it further. It seemed to help. It's just, I find it quite soothing. Um, so I like this one, but it's very expensive. Here I have the Medicaid um, R Retin-08 uh, Youth Activating Cream. This is in the Intensive Formula. I also have the eye cream, which is in like my current use products. Uh, I haven't actually tried this, so I don't I don't know how I feel about it, but I will have a go eventually. Dr. Dennis Gross is a pore perfecting and refining serum. I also haven't tried that. I've got the Dolce & Gabbana Lepiratrice uh, perfume here. I, I'm actually gonna put that up on my perfume stand. This is a mini of the Paula's Choice BHA 9%. I actually usually keep that in like my travel um, skincare bag just, just in case something goes terribly, terribly wrong. Um, why is there a sheet mask here? This is a Honey Propolis Essential Mask from Sue. Get in your home. Oh, here we go. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury. This is the magic cream. Um, look, I think I might try and use this on my body. I just, I don't like it on my face. It's not good for me. I don't like it. Um, if you like it, then that's great. But I've got really dry skin and this is certainly not magic for dry skin. So I think I'll use it up on my body. Daiso Puff and Sponge. So I've only got four left. That's it. I bought two cases a few years ago when Daiso said that they were discontinuing it. And I was like, what? This is like the best brush cleaner I've ever tried. Um, and yeah, I bought two cases. I've almost gone through it. I've got these four and the one that I have open left. And that's it. They do still make it. I went to Daiso the other day and I saw it there and I was very happy about that. Uh, this is the Shuamora sponge cleaner. This is also fantastic. Uh, I've got the Summer Fridays jet lag mask. I think I did try this. Did I try it? I don't actually know. I don't know if I've used it, but I have it. And this is the uh, Paula's Choice Resist 
Advanced Pore Refining Treatment. It's 4% BHA. I've actually been adding this to my body moisturizers to uh, give them a little bit of a exfoliating effect because I probably won't use it on my face. Uh, Gold Fadden MD. This is a brightening elixir. I don't know why this is in here for God's sake. And I have two of the Rexona clinical deodorants. This is my daily deodorant. Um, I buy it in packs of, I don't know, three or four at Costco. I love it. I've used it for years. I have, I don't know, some sort of allergy to something that's in a lot of deodorants. Whatever that ingredient is, it's not in here. This doesn't irritate me. And that makes me really happy. And finally, I have uh, the black and gold nail polish remover. This was actually Chris's mum. She gave it to me because I, when I arrived here, I didn't have any nail polish remover. So yeah, this looks absolutely filthy. It's disgusting. I haven't put everything back that was up here because I think I might want to put some on the lower shelf. So let's go through what's on the lower shelf and I can sort myself out from there. This shelf is also a disaster and you could probably see why I don't like it as storage. Like how hard is it to see stuff back there? I literally have to get down on my hands and knees to see what's in there. So I just, I don't love it. Like give me drawers every day of the week. I'm gonna start on this side. I have um, Latan Coconut Lotion, SPF 15. I've got all of my dirty brushes in here. That's a real problem. I really need to get around to dealing with them. Uh, Sika Bio Cream from Bioderma. This is very similar to the Sika Plast Balm. Um, just different brands. I have the Invite E Vitamin E Cream. I purchased this hoping it would help my skin. I, I actually, I don't like it. I don't, my skin was just like, no ma'am. I've used this in the past and my skin loved it. Now it doesn't. I'm eventually gonna use that up on my body. Here I have the Zellens Power D Vitamin D uh, Concentrate. I have a Glow Recipe uh, Niacinamide Dew Drops here. I, haven't tried it um and like this is literally the extent of my skincare you are literally seeing it all here this is it uh trilogy rosehip oil antioxidant plus oh except the stuff that i'm currently using it's up on my bench but i never go through that in these videos um and i have the augustinus beta the rich cream that's it and i think if you have ever watched my uh like collection or stash videos then you will know that this is super 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 minimal for me and will probably explain why I'm not really decluttering stuff because I don't have an excess to declutter oh my dog's having a dream don't worry she's okay here I have perfume samples that were in my project pan along with the uh Toka meet the girls fragrance set another fragrance sample there this one is from floral street it's the sunflower pop I absolutely love that it's so good and i have the ck2 from calvin klein this is for hydrating um oh what are they called uh like compressed face mask sheets so you put your own serum in there Hold on to that because I do have some compressed sheet masks. And then there is a brush cleaning uh, pad. I have some hair tools in here, which I don't, I don't want them to be in here. And this is all going to be, oh, oh shoot. They're in my project pan and I completely forgot about them. They are the Maison Snail Repair Intensive Gold, L, uh, Gold Eye Gel Patches. Uh, the rest is cleansing products, mostly uh, oil cleansers. So let's have a look. Uh, pharmacy balms. I've got a lot of them. I have Very Cherry 
and I have the uh, Sweet Apple. This is the original one in a small size. I have a bottle of Bioderma there. Two Shuomora oil cleansers. I've got the Pore Finest 2 and the Nutri Nectar. More Pharmacy. These are their like holiday uh, ranges that they had. So I have the oh what is that does it really not say man it's in tiny writing on the side so that one is pear this one is like blueberry i think this one was tangerine yeah tangerine twist up here i've got strawberry and basil this one is uh, lemon and mint i believe and then we have peach is it peach twist peach and thyme sorry peach and thyme so i have heaps of those no i didn't buy the new holiday set this year because i have heaps of those okay last of them here i have the ultimate oil from shuamora this is the special edition um super mario brothers one i have a refill of the senka perfect watery oil which was the blue uh cleansing oil that i showed you earlier oh my god everything's falling um another bottle of bioderma I have the Flick Off Makeup Remover from Quick Flick. I have the Cinch Cleanse and Glow. It's a 5-in-1 micellar water uh, makeup remover. And these are the Beauty Clear Powders from Kanibo. Um, these are just like individual face cleansers. It's very similar to the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. Um, these are good for travel, but obviously a little bit, and I mean, they're cute because they're like little individual things, but packaging, not great. Just fantastic for travel. So I've measured this up and I'm pretty confident that, um, some storage drawers from Kmart will be just fine in here. Um, it's the other cupboard where they're not going to fit, which is a bugger i don't really mind if i can't fit them i would i'd be able to fit one up there for sure and a couple down here if i was ever designing my own bathroom i'm gonna be like i want all drawers all drawers maybe like no screw it all drawers <laughs> I'm very sorry that all of this footage has mostly been out of focus. I am quite annoyed at my phone right now. Here is my chaos shelf. Um, this is all stuff that I don't have storage for. There's some Project Pan stuff here. There's some empties here and like Lush uh, shower gel that's empty that I want to, you know, hold on to, take back to store, stuff like that. I've got some like eye products down there. I think... I don't know what's in here. I know that this doesn't work, so like, let's throw that out. But it's just, like I said, it's chaos. Um, this is why I really want the storage drawers for this cupboard so that I can, you know, make it, it I can use the wasted space. I also have my perfumes in this corner, which I, I mean, I love this little, this section here, I really love. Um, and I'm remembering why I stored these ones in the cupboard that we just came from because there's not really space to store them here, which is a bugger. Um, but if you want to know what I have, I've got a backup of the CK2 and the Dolce & Gabbana. I have Dolce & Gabbana Italian Zest. This is the Kat Von D uh, Saint perfume. I got rid of Sinner last year. Um, that is, oh, it is uh, Caroline Herrera, Good Girl, um, just a sample that I decanted. I've got Mimosa and Cardamom and Wild Bluebell from Jo Malone, along with Tropical Cherimoya. And then I have a bunch of like little samples that I'm currently project panning. Um, this one is a Solly Notes Cherry Blossom. Uh, here I have 
Brazilian crush from Sol de Janeiro. And this was a pack, a holiday pack that I got a few years ago. Oh no, don't do that. It's a disaster. Um, these are glass too, so that's why I was a little bit scared. Um, Summer Fridays perfume oils. There is coconut water. Uh, what's that one? Soft vanilla and crisp citrus. They're really nice. I do enjoy them. Under here, I have a couple from it's DKNY. This one is Be Delicious Crystallized. Um, I've got Escada Absolutely Me back there. You can see it in the dark. This one is... Oh, God, I can't read that. It's Be Tempted. I have the Aqua Celestia uh, Forte back there from uh, Mason... Mason Francis Kirkjikian, which I can never pronounce. And that's a Malin and Goats Dark Rum uh, Rollerball or a Spritz that I got in an advent calendar last year. So that's like, that's my perfume stash. These are all messy now. And this camera, why won't you focus? What, what have you done to my phone, Apple? I'm so pissed. Conspiracy theory rant. I feel like every time Apple release a new phone, they put out an update that makes the older phones crappy. But I refuse to buy the new phone because I think it's overpriced and it's not that good. That will do. Just don't look at this because this makes me upset. Usually I would finish off these videos by counting up all of the items that I decluttered. And I am doing that, but it's going to be boring. Um, I'm just getting rid of the different gel. That's it. As you guys have seen, I, I mean, I have a lot of products, but it's certainly not as bad as uh, the many, many years previous that I've been doing this. So I feel like my stash is very much under control and I'm at the point where I'm either using things to then be able to go and buy things to replace it or I'm getting very, very close to that point. So it's just different saying goodbye to us in this video. I hope to come back next year with a storage solution for these cupboards because I gotta, I gotta do something. I had a little Google to see if I could find something, like I'm kind of thinking Kmart because it's nice and affordable and I can just pop down and pick them up. Um, issue is maximum depth for these particular cupboards is 33 centimeters and the ones at Kmart are 34 or just a tad over 34 centimeters. So it would mean that these doors wouldn't close properly. But you know what? I'm at the point mentally with these cupboards that I think I would be willing to uh, compromise on that and just have the doors that just don't, they'll always look a little bit ajar. It will annoy me, but will it annoy me more than this chaos? Potentially not, <laughs> but I'm gonna leave that there, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it. I will be back tomorrow to kick off the makeup stash and I will start with uh, base products. So it won't be long before I see you guys again. I wanna say a massive thank you to my channel members. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye, different. See you never again.